Sweet 17. Huge moments in the context of the championship, no doubt about that. Really has been a spectacular night of World Cup Speedway. Heat number 17. Takes her up and we go to the first turn. Dial's made a really good start for Australia off the inside. Dan Bewley's there. Certainly, uh, here we go with Rasmus Jensen once again in the thick of the action. He comes charging up the inside. Jason Doyle there, hanging on to the front. Here comes Rasmus Jensen, Bewley around the outside. Certainly, uh, Kowalce not out of it, but he's at the back. Bewley now, certainly now beginning to work the bike. He hits the front, does he? Tied for the lead. Doyle's going to run him wide in turns three and four. He does. Bewley now, can he drop back to the inside? Oh, yes, it's up the inside. Nothing to How on earth did Jason Doyle hang on to the lead? I tell you what, Jason Doyle did everything right for his country there, but now it's getting tied again. Bewley's up the inside this time. Jason Doyle is really soaking up the pressure, but Dan Bewley again up the inside. Doyle out in front, hanging on by the skin of his teeth, Bewley following him through. Oh, it's tied, he nearly runs at the back of him. Kowalczyk's at the back, that's going to allow the lead for Team Great Britain with three races to go. But Doyle has ridden down like a champion, he hangs on. Rasmus Jensen back in third. And, uh, the switch of riders there for Poland didn't work. Tough on Kowalczyk coming in at heat 17 for your first ride. He wasn't out of it, but crikey, it was a tough race. How on earth Jason Doyle hung on there, I just don't know. Three points for Australia with Jason Doyle, two points for Team Great Britain with Dan Bewley, Rasmus Jensen, one point for Denmark, and uh, Janusz Kowalczyk misses out for Poland. And a couple of point lead now for Team Great Britain with three races to go, 28 points for them, 26 for Poland, Australia on 24, likewise Denmark. What a race again here. I tell you what, Jason Doyle did fantastically well to soak up the pressure he soaked up for the entire four laps was unbelievable. Rasmus Jensen just sneaking up the inside there. Looks like he's going to have a run on Doyle as well as Beauty with Kowadze at the back. Tough for him coming into this race in Heat 17 for his first ride. Dan Beauty threw absolutely everything at Jason Doyle. Really winding it up around the outside. Just lifted there, lost a little bit of momentum. Now cuts back up the inside of Jason Doyle. Again grabs a little bit of extra grip, which just makes him get out of the throttle. And meanwhile, Rasmus Jensen's putting everybody under pressure up the inside. But uh, Jason Doyle, he just kept making all the right moves. He would turn left, right, round the inside, round the outside. Unbelievable ride. A very determined character, Jason Doyle, and it was on uh, display there. There's no question about that. And uh, there's the standings once again, the two-point lead for Great Britain, 28 points, 26 for Poland, Australia on uh, 24, and Denmark the same. So Anders Thompson comes in here as a replacement. Dominic Kubera for Poland off the inside gate. Gate number two for Australia is Chris Holder. Ty Wolfington for Great Britain out of gate number three, and Anders Thompson coming in here for Mikkel Mikkelsen off the outside gate for Denmark. Just uh, four points in it between first and fourth. So easily could turn around, but Great Britain have got their noses in front once again with three races to, to go. Can it be their night? Started so well, they've hung tough for so long. Wuffenden has had an up and down night, literally an up and down night. Two wins, two lasts. Heat 18, we're away. Great start off the inside by Kubera. He fires himself to the front. Chris Holder into second place. Round the outside. Up the inside. So Wuffenden now coming through, but he's relegated back to third. Certainly there. Anders Thompson now coming through into second place. A fine ride for him. Wuffenden trying to land a row into third place. This will be handy for Poland. They'll close right back in on Team Great Britain if it remains the same. Kubera out in front. Thompson coming on strong in second place for Denmark. Yeah, Thompson's really got the bike hooking up. He's stealing a march down. It's all Kubera there off the fence. Great job for him to chop back across. And now Ty Wuffen has got the bike working up the inside. Oh, that's going to get close. Very tight indeed for second and third. But out in front, Dominic Kubera being a hero for Poland here. Anders Thompson hanging tough back in second place. Wiffenden trying everything he knows back in third place. But Poland are surging back. They've responded. They were two points down coming into this race. They're now going to be all square at the completion of Heat 18. Oh, 
Breathless stuff once again. Brilliant start from Cabrera. And uh, just look what that means to him. Truly stunning speedway again. All square between Great Britain and Poland on 29. And back, back on 26. Look what it means to the fans, Chris. Uh, they're just overjoyed. Yeah, Unbelievable yeah. scenes. Dominic Cabrera, fine ride. Three points for him for Poland. Anders Thompson for Denmark, two points. Ty Wiffen and Great Britain, one. Chris Holder and Australia miss out there in Heat uh, 18. Well, that was a vital win for Poland. Really was. And um, uh, handy for Wiffenden. He's had a last three races, got one point. As the standings, as we've just got two races to go to determine who's going to be the Speedway World Cup champions of 2023. What a time to win your first race. And uh, off the inside gate, that's exactly what Dominic Capera does here. Explodes off the start. Both his legs out away from the bike, trying to get all of his weight down on the uh, seat there. Ty Wurfenden roars up the inside. Looks like he's going to comfortably get himself into second place on the opening lap, but Anders Thompson has other ideas, and it's difficult to get up the inside of Anders Thompson. Been riding around the kerb uh, in all of the uh, races so far that he's had in his semi-final, and of course the final here tonight. But uh, Ty Wolfenden, one point from him, as you say, uh, Kelvin. He struggled in the latter part of these uh, of this meeting, but it's yeah. all square at the top. It is indeed. It's looking like a shootout between Great Britain and Poland. There's a chart around the stadium. The Polish fans ch chanting Polska, Polska. And that man certainly doing the business for his country in the very last race, that's for sure. So heat number 19 then. Drama here in the Olympic Stadium in Wroclaw, that's for sure. Leon Madsen for Denmark goes from the inside gate. Bartosz Marczyk for Poland, gate number two. Gate number three for Australia is Jamin Lidzi. And off the outside, Dan Bewley, who has replaced Adam Ellis here for Team Great Britain. What a moment for Bewley to try and bounce back here. But crikey, <laughs> crikey. Bartosz Marczyk has been truly outstanding here for his country this evening. Poland have had a tough night. Probably harder than they expected. Possibly looking at Australia or Denmark, particularly after last night, who could, could be their closest threat. But Great Britain have been outstanding tonight. They've done themselves proud already tonight. Every chance of a gold. Here we go then. Heat number 19, the penultimate race of the night, possibly. Could easily be a race off here this evening. Tapes up. Underway, Maxon's made a good start off gate number one. Oh, that was an untidy run there with uh, Jaimin Litzy getting shoved out of the way. Bewley around the outside of Smarzik. That's very important indeed. Smarzik now trying to respond, but Madsen's in front. Bewley coming through into second place. Bartosz Smarzik hanging off the back of the bike. Straight lines to the corner, up into second place. Bewley now reads it. Back up the inside. Beautiful speedway from Dan Bewley. But Smarzik, you know it's just going to oh, get absolutely back. everything here. Yeah, I think that was a bit of a mistake there from Dan Bewley as he jumps back. But Smarzlik using that little bit of grip off the fence to shoot himself into the corner. Leon Madsen doing fine work there out front for Denmark. Possibly not going to be enough for them, but here comes Smarzlik again. Unbelievable speedway here in the Speedway World Cup. Leon Madsen out in front, Bartosz Smarzlik has had to ride so hard. Bewley now up the inside! Where did he find that from? It's going to get tight through the last corner. Smarzlik responds, slams the door shut. Leon Madsen, what a ride, and Bartosz Smarzlik. They lead, they lead going into the last race. How hard did he have to ride to get the better of Bewley? Sensational speedway once again in heat 20. Madsen, a fine ride out in front, but all the fireworks were going on behind him with Bartosz Smarzlik and Dan Bewley of Poland. Go into heat number 20 with one point lead, 31 points to 30. And Denmark on 29, just two points out of it. Yeah. Leon Madsen, three points for Denmark. Bartosz Smarzlik, two points for Poland, one point for Great Britain with Dan Bewley and Jamin Lidzi in Australia. Well, it's a shootout for gold here yeah, in heat number way. 20, a three-way shootout for gold in heat number 20. Poland, Great Britain and Denmark. Which way is it going to go? Well, Heat 20 could decide this World Championship. Of course, it might come down to Heat 21. Every chance. See it once again. 
Unbelievable race. It was uh, tough stuff. And once again, Leon Madsen just making the inside gate work very, very well. Fires himself into the front round the first turn, but they got very tight there. Uh, between Smarzik and Lidzi. It looks like at this point that Dan is going to have a good run around the outside. Smarzik pushing him, pushing him. You can see Leon Madsen having a look over his right shoulder. What have I got to do? Have I got to move out? Have I got to creep around the inside? But Smarzik battled for four laps tirelessly and he uh, manages to get the two points and give Poland a one-point lead going into the final heat. But how hard did Bewley make him work? Oh, very. He, he responds superbly well here, but uh, Smarzik read it very well indeed. Uh, with Bewley running wide there and Smarzik being able to chop back to the inside. He covers every angle there. I mean, crikey, <laughs> off the fence, on the inside, on the curb. I mean, he had to do it, had to do it. And as a consequence of that move, they go into the last race with a slender lead of one point over Great Britain. Only two points over Denmark, Australia, unfortunately. They are just uh, down to four riders. It's not going to be their evening. But Leon Madsen certainly doing the business here. What a conclusion we are looking forward to here in heat number 20. There is a change. Nicky Pedersen comes out of the lineup and Anders Thompson comes in here for, Australia, uh, for Denmark, excuse me. And uh, the responsibility. Wow, Minoski, how much pressure is on that man's shoulders? Wow, unbelievable. Robert Lambert for Great Britain off the inside. Gate number two for Denmark is Anders Thompson. Matze Janowski for Poland off of gate number three, and Max Vick for Australia off the outside. Janowski hasn't been in great form this year, but what a moment for him. He lives here, he rides for the club, he's grown up here. He is one of their own. What a moment for him. Just needs to beat. He hits the front, it's theirs. If he hits the front. But Robert Lambert has been in sparkling form. Heat number 20. Lambert's made a great jump. Oh, superb stuff from the outside from Frick as well from Australia. They fire themselves to the front, but Lambert's in the second place. Handy here. Could get very tight and then it remains like this. It could well be a runoff for the gold here this evening. Janoski's generating speed. Frick's out in front. Robert Lambert electing to go right round the inside and follow him. Janowski going to the back now with Thompson coming into third place. Oh, this is going to get tight. Janowski's riding out wide. We haven't seen too much of him doing that. I'll tell you what, Robert Lambert's now looking for a way put. Oh, he's going to get pinned down on the inside. Gets awfully close with Max Frick. And Janowski is right behind him. Indeed he is, Max Frick there, out in front. Janowski trying to get round the outside of Anders Thompson, and he has to do so if he goes oh, to a race on. Janowski now on the inside! Oh, Poland! Poland looking like champions now. Max Frick down the back straight. Can do Robert Lambert do anything about it? Matt Sajanowski is going to make himself a hero. Here we go. And Poland are world champions. Unbelievable scenes here in the Olympic Stadium. Euphoria around the stadium. Incredible speedway meeting. And Matze Janowski, who's had such a difficult time, gets the better of Robert Lambert there. Heartbreak for Team Great Britain. You've got to feel for them. Truly remarkable scenes. And uh, Anders Thompson just out the back. I'm just looking out of our commentary window, the Polish fans all hugging each other. What a celebration it's going to be here tonight. Heartbreak for Great Britain, but Poland, unbelievable. I don't think... I've got, I've got no voice left. I, mean, I, need, I need to lie down. I do, I, I do indeed, but crikey, what a night of speedway. Many, many congratulations to Poland. It has been a nervous night for them. They have so much pressure, so much expectation in this uh, championship. And for Matze Janowski, you can see you can in see, his eyes. Yeah, the you can see that he's on him. had such a difficult time in the Grand Prix. But there, he found the extra. He found what he needed. Smiles that played his part. Dominic Cabrera, of course, with that fine ride in heat number 18. Bitter disappointment for Great Britain. They uh, they laid down the gauntlet to Poland and all the rest. Right from the word go tonight, just come up short. Two points in it, 33 points for Poland. They are the world champions. Silver goes to Great Britain on 31. Bronze will go to Denmark on 29. And Australia on 27 just miss out. What a night it's been.